All right, we want you to mark your calendars for this Saturday, Veterans Day. We have the Catfish Crawl 5K over in Bluntstown, and I have Bluntstown Fire Chief, Mr. Ben Hall, joining us this morning. You're Thank also you. uh, the one that puts this race together. <laughs> yeah, you know, it just kind of happened that way. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to a great race day Saturday. Um, lots of goodies. Uh, you know, got a uh, thanks to one of our wonderful sponsors, Florida Health. Yeah. Finisher, microfiber finisher towels Ooh, with nice. our, this year's logo on it. Um, green long sleeve shirts this year. We're uh, recognizing our veterans. I'm um, looking forward to a great time with that. Uh, a few extra surprises that may get thrown in there. Okay, so, okay. Um, not, not ready to reveal. You just got to come to the race and find you out. You got to so find out. It's going to be a good day. Yeah, so for you runners out there, this is an amazing course. I have run this several years, brought the kids last year. Yeah. So uh, a little bit of shade there, paved course, a beautiful, beautiful area. Tell us a little bit where that's at in Bluntstown. So our course is right there. If you've been through Bluntstown and you know where the train's at, it starts with the depot, right? The MB train depot, right behind the train on North Pear Street. It's really easy to get to if you're coming from Panama City. Go to the third traffic light now. It used to be the second traffic light. We got a new one. Ooh. So yeah, big time. So go to the third traffic light and hang a left. Yeah. Um, you'll be right there at the race course. There'll be signs up. Just look for the fish. Um, you, as you see our, our fish, you, you look for Harvey the fish. You'll see it out there, and it'll take you right to where it's going to be. Um, we got early registration that day, and race day packet pickup starts at 6:30 a.m. And then we've got um, the race starts at eight sharp. Okay. So we're gonna start at eight sharp. But if you're worried about that, we've got a Friday night packet pickup this year. Uh, thanks to Axel and the crew at IRC, that's our timing company. So at the fire station, five to seven, you can swing by and pick up your packet, do a station tour if you like, yeah. so you can get your picture made on the fire truck. And people can register right now, which we'll put that link on yes. our website, mypanhandle.com, a little bit later after the show if you're looking to register. But Ben, this is a great race for, for those that are experienced or those that just want to start for the first it's time. It's great. You know, we, we had the course record set last year. It was 15, to, I think 21, 15, 25, something oh, like that, wow. which was ridiculously fast. Yes. But then also, we had some finishers coming in a little after an hour. So it's a great race. It's friendly. We don't leave until the last runner finishes. Uh, we've got a free kids race immediately after the last yes. 5k finisher. I'll let those kids come out. We well, want to run a mile or 1k or just 100 yards if they want to, you know. Yes, uh, that's always fun. Yeah. My son ran it last year. It was his first little run and he ran his little heart out. So it's he always did. fun for the kids. It's like you said, family friendly Absolutely. and uh, and it goes to a good cause. Do you want to bring that up as well? It does. So 100% of the proceeds go to our scholarship fund. We award a graduating Bluntstown High School senior a full scholarship to Fire Academy. All they have to do is buy the gas to get up there. <laughs> and everything else is taken care of. That's valued at around 2,000, 2,500 bucks. So it's a good scholarship and every penny that goes toward race day registration or any registration in our race goes towards that scholarship. All righty, sounds good. Well, looking forward to seeing you on Saturday and hopefully some of you as well. Chris?